Mary Makeba, she, she, she died with an estate, right? And this, so clearly, she didn't die broke. No. Um, but you've got people like Brahu. I don't think he died broke. I don't know the in, inner workings of his estate, but I, I would imagine he didn't. You've got uh, Bob Mabena. I mean, he wasn't, he, he just recently passed away, but he was still working. He didn't necessarily die broke. Um, we can go into the rugby world. U.S. Van der Westhazen, James Small, they, you know? So there, there are pockets and places where people still die with, quote unquote, not having been broke at the time of their death. What I'm trying to decipher really is, is this an issue that we need to, that, that's worth discussing? Is it a, a state of affairs that's really real? Or are we just sort of picking something small and turning it into something bigger than what it is? It's worth discussing and we need to stop putting sole blame on the artist yeah. for being on the back foot at the end of their career. Okay. We need to look into how the system has perpetually allowed for exploitation to be the manner of the day. And it continues today. Isn't that so in all professions? You can blame the artist, though. No! It's, so, it's, it's worse, you can blame it's the artist. worse in the that's arts. That's my point. No, it, it is much, much worse in the arts. Fine. Is it not time? for actors to actually take the mistakes of those from the past and use them to their benefit. It wasn't the actors' in mistakes in the past. Oh, guys, wait. It's, a, it's the system. OK. Yeah. Fix the system. We're talking about educating yourself as a business, okay. right? We're talking about, and this is, we've, we're in technology, the age of technology. Mm. It takes your smartphone to press Google to go and find information. You work within an industry where people are readily available to share information. If artists don't take responsibility of their own careers, who must? What is wrong with a very talented artist that all they want to do is to just showcase their art in asking more about how can they better their They can ask. Sorry, I can say something. They will. They will give and show up as an artist. What I said at the very beginning is that the system tells them what their worth is. They can't ever be responsible for saying, I deserve more. People can come and offer me something that people didn't even pay me in 1998. Really? Wow. Get ready to bury me as a pauper then if I'm gonna stick with this industry forever. She knows. It doesn't matter how hard she tries to negotiate. She reaches a point where she has to say, I better take this or my actors will not eat. But it's a lie. Am I lying? Guys in a budget. There's mm. a cost per minute that we're producing mm. for, right? And mm. if we need to cast, no, I'm with you here. I'm just now yeah, she's talking defending the channel, eh? No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> she's like, no, there's a line item. So producer's favorite, so producer's favorite line is, we don't have the budget. No, no, no. Right? And I don't even want us to go there because we're having an important conversation. Okay. <laughs> there are entities and organizations, for example, SAGA, South African yes. Actors Guild Association. Mm -hmm. There is this really ridiculous rate card that the read on that has people like me being said to require to earn such ridiculous amounts of money if I go according to that rate card. My children will never live and I'll never be able to buy anything apart from bananas on a Monday morning at Chakuma Market. I feel like sometimes when we think of acting, TV, sports, musicians, entertainers, there's, there's a special bubble there that it's like once and you've made we it, have to handle it with kid gloves, people, but everything people, else you know what people can be do? in the real they world. Keep, they keep continuous learning. Mm. People do MBAs, they go and do that, doctrines. Want, we just stay where we are and we think, mm. as long as I'm this, I'm mm. going to continue. So, I worry about musicians because musicians enter the game thinking that it's... Look, there's very few people who like well, Olivam Tukuzi, and it's interesting, Olivam Tukuzi, the first... I had a conversation with him, and we were talking about this very thing of artists being taken advantage of, and he said to me, as, an, as, a, as a new artist, you have to be exploited because that's the only way you learn. We speak about education. Mm -hmm. Business people learn through failure. They don't... Nobody sits there and teaches them or gives them a lecture. You try, fail, try, fail, until you find something that works, and that's where you experience your success. With artistry or entertainment, why can't you fail? Why can't you be exploited? Why can't you learn that, oh, if I don't watch this or watch... That's how I learned. I got burnt many times. 
the truth is um, the industry has a very long way to go. The truth is the status quo cannot continue. We can't still have the same narratives that Mahlatini and them had in the 60s being meted out on artists today.